I'm going to be showing you how I did this gold eye bold staple red lip look for the festive season. I'm sure there are some of you that have a few parties to go to or you just want to doll yourself up on Christmas Day and have a little go at it. Also, you can use this for any time of the year. So if you're watching this in February 2016, hi, enjoy the video. First thing I need to do is get this mop off my face. So I am going to put my hair up. So I've already primed and moisturized my face. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use my foundation to get a kind of more even base. My skin is not actually as bad as it has been. Um, it's definitely improving. I've noticed that drinking a lot more water has helped under, under and around my eyes as well. For foundation, I'm gonna actually mix two together because this is a teeny bit too dark. This is Nars Mont Blanc. And I'm also gonna mix it with a bit of Rimmel Wake Me Up in the shade Light Porcelain. Um, mostly just to kind of even out the color, but also because I want a kind of dewy look. Um, I want to look kind of fresh faced, very kind of healthy and a bit glowy because it is that time of year where you can go a bit more overboard on the highlight, I think personally. Um, and this does that, um, but I don't want to do it too much. It's more of kind of a summery, more of a summery foundation. But I'm going to mix the two together to create kind of the perfect festive foundation concoction. Okay, base is done. I actually look quite pale. I think it might be these lights, I'm not sure, but it's a good job I've got bronzer. Um, and as you can see, it is quite um, kind of dewy and quite like highlighty. So if you have oily skin um, and you don't like that, then I would avoid this, but I wanted to go for that today. Oh, I'm gonna use <clears throat> the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Miracle Eye Wand. Um, dynamic duo, lift and illuminate. And I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that just under my eyes to cancel out any bluey tones. I'm then gonna use this end of the sponge and just dab that in very, very gently. I'm also gonna put a little bit of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer on the back of my hand so I can get my little spots and also underneath my eyes. Using the sponge again, dabbing it on. I love this concealer because I feel like it really lifts your um, complexion. Don't really have any big old spots right now, but I've got a few little blemishes from where I have had them, so I'm just covering those up a bit more. Next thing I'm going to do is powder. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent, and I'm also using a Real Techniques um, Bold Metals Brush in 100. Okay, there we go. So I have the kind of plain base sorted. Now I'm going to add a bit of color and a little bit more depth to my face. I'm gonna use one of these. Um, this is a Trestique um, contour stick. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go underneath my cheekbone in a line. It's gonna look absolutely terrifying, but just trust me on this one. Also, how cute is this packaging? How cute is that? Cute. Cute is the answer. I'm now going to use this teeny tiny little one. This is actually for contour, so this is for doing this. Um, because you can either use the bigger end or you can use the slightly more pointed end. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. So as you can see, you've kind of got these little shadows now. Um, I quite like doing it like that because I find you could be quite precise with it. And it blends really nicely and it does look quite natural. Um, I am gonna go over it just a little bit with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and that kind of also sets it because it's a cream product. And then you just wanna take the bronzer anywhere the sun would naturally hit. And I sometimes take it along my jawline too. For blusher, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Looks like this. Um, and I'm gonna go for this uh, really pretty pink highlighty shade here in the middle. Just using the same brush. This is a Maestro 148. Now because I wanted to do glowy and highlighty, I've opted for the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which I feel like if you wanna go all out cheekbones, this is the perfect product because it is very, very shimmery, and it's, it's very, very pretty. But then I'm just sort of taking it into my temples and 
dispersing it basically. Oh, I forgot to put some lip oil on. I'm using the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil and I'm just gonna put that on before I put on my red lipstick just to give my lips a little bit of moisture. Next thing I'm gonna do is put an eye base on my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, anti-aging. They do say your eyes are the first thing that age. All those laughter lines. Now, while that is settling onto my eyelids, I'm gonna go on and do my eyebrows. So for this, I use a MAC eyeshadow, and it is this one, which I think is charcoal brown. Um, and I'm then using a MAC 266 angled brush. I just find that an angled brush is a lot more precise, and I feel like I fill those in quite quickly. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I've been trying to grow my eyebrows out a little bit, um, and it has been quite the challenge. There's just little parts of my eyebrows that won't grow. Um, as you can see on this side, I've got a little gap here, and on this side I've got quite a gap here, so I'm having to just fill those in so it looks a bit more even. I do always tell people my one bit of beauty advice is to not do your eyebrows yourself, is to always go to somebody um, and have them done professionally because I find that they know what they're doing a lot more than I do, but also they can advise you on how to grow them or how best to fill them in to suit your face shape. Um, and it's honestly just the best thing I've ever done. I wish I had done it when I was younger so then I wouldn't be having to try and grow more in as a 25 year old. Um, I was a serious overplucker when I was younger. I probably need to go slightly darker naturally on the eyeshadow powder, but because I've lightened my hair recently, like quite a lot, I, I go for somewhere in between. Okay, so now I look crazy with big eyebrows. I'm gonna start doing my eyes so everything kind of merges in a little bit more. I wanna go for a really kind of subtle smoky gold eye because I feel like that goes really well with a classic red lip and I don't know I just I like it so so for the base color I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on and this is the ColourPop um, cream gel color in show me it's very beautiful you can do this with your fingers but I'm gonna apply a little bit of that on a Sigma short shader brush okay so now we've roughly got this color on the eyes I've zoomed you in a little um, I'm going to put a little bit of Urban Decay's Dirty Sweet, which is this one, over my entire eyelid. I'm then going to take this little brush again and whack that in there and go just underneath. Okay, now with a Sigma blending brush, I'm going to go in the crease with the same colour that I used for my eyebrows, which is MAC charcoal brown and I'm gonna just blend 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 I'm then gonna take a little bit of the same color and just join that into the middle of the lower lash line where I've put the gold and then using a tapered blending brush by Sigma I am going to blend that a little bit more and then add a little bit of highlight under my brow bone and for highlight I am using Max nylon nylon <laughs> I always try and be so professional in these videos when we all know I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just fluking this. <laughs> okay, so that's eyes almost done. The only thing I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of mascara. I'm not gonna do any liner on this one because I feel like the lips is kind of more of a statement. The mascara I am using is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I always forget what this is called even though it's like my favorite thing ever. At this stage you could also add some false eyelashes or before mascara, whichever way you like to do it. But my lashes are actually quite long and curly so I really struggle with lashes and I don't really feel like I need to add any more to them for this look. However, a few individual lashes might look quite nice. But let's be honest, I'm rubbish at lashes. Unless I've got Tanya here to do them for me, they always look crap. So um, I'm just gonna go for just mascara for this look. Okay, it's time to do the lips. Okay, so the oil's pretty much rubbed off. For this look, I wanted to use quite a bright cherry red um, because I feel like that's quite festive. Um, so I'm gonna use a ColourPop um, lip liner. This is in the shade Dazed. It's slightly darker than the actual color, but I wanted to do it that way. These are kind of like liquid lipsticks. They're amazing and the pigmentation is so intense and they're really long lasting, which is why I thought they would be really good for like night out makeup. Um, so I've gone for 
the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Succulent. I'm just going to give that a moment to dry. Okay, so you could either leave it like this and it's quite matte and it looks, I think, very, very pretty. See, sometimes I like a shimmery kind of lip gloss lip and sometimes I love a matte lip and I think this colour looks amazing as a matte. But I'm thinking of putting a bit of red lip gloss on top. So I'm using Tanya Burr's lip gloss in the colour Aphrodite. Very gorgeous. There we go, you have the perfect red lip for Christmas. I've just realised I don't think I've ever done a red lip look on my channel before which is crazy because you guys know how much I love a red lip especially around this time of year so um, yeah this is the finished makeup I'm not really gonna do too much with my hair I don't think it's kind of I mean it's okay right how it is but my hair is so soft right now holy shiz is. okay so for hair I think I'm just gonna straighten it out a little bit more I'm gonna whack on my straighteners these literally heat up ridiculously quick you can watch it 130 140 150 160 170 you get the idea <laughs> that moment you realize you're supposed to be picking up your friend from the train station in 15 minutes and you're doing a tutorial. <laughs> there we go, I am all finished. I am ready for my Christmas night out, which we all know I'm not really going on. <laughs> I mean, I am, but not right now, not right now. I'm just, I have great makeup for the rest of the day, which I'm happy with, I'm fine with that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Please recreate and let me see what you do with it. Also, let me know your favorite red lip because I really wanna know. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have been enjoying my 24 days of Zoella. Don't forget to check out my second channel for um, day in the life in the run up to Christmas. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.